like 10.30 in the morning. The water's turned off in my building, so I can't take a shower. I have a flight in two hours. But I'm taking my time because I'm flying out of Long Beach. Flight's delayed two hours. I mean, I guess I, yeah, at least I have. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, at least I have some time to eat now. Um, point three until the five Ks hatch. 30 minutes until the event starts. I guess another positive thing is that, well, there's 20 Pidgey candies sitting right here. Uh, another positive thing is that I won't be on a plane when the event actually starts, so I can uh, I can actually like walk to hatch these eggs back and forth in the terminal here. As soon as the new 2Ks start dropping, which means I can get started trying to hatch that shiny right away. I will have to walk a little farther to hatch the rest of the eggs though. I just, I don't want to do too much now because I don't want the 5Ks to hatch until Double Stardust. time. It's one o'clock. Sailbox has just went live. I'm going to check them out real quick. Regular incubator, star piece, incense. Super incubator, star piece, incense. Eight. Super. 25 star piece. 10. Okay. There's a lot in there. Not necessarily a lot of things that I want right now, but eventually I'd like to have all of those things. My issue with this is that the ratios are off. 25 star pieces to eight super incubators. Yeah. 10 to 5 here is a little better. Value-wise though, luckily I don't need the boxes quite yet, so I'm just gonna walk up and down this terminal until these 3Ks hatch, that shouldn't take too long. But we're on. So see what I mean? I already have 33 star pieces. I don't need another 25 just to get eight incubators, but I'm gonna put one on. We're gonna catch these Pokemon. I'm walking back and forth until these eggs hatch. Well, it was quick. I didn't even make it to the other end of the terminal before they started hatching. Got my star piece on, got my lucky egg on. This should be five, five Ks, which are not that exciting. What we're looking for are the event two Ks. The event two Ks, random phone call just interrupted my screen recording. The problem is though, I, there's like one gym in the airport terminal that I can reach right now. So it's gonna take me a while to fill up on the new two Ks. Um, so I probably won't hatch any before the flight, but Hopefully I can pick some up just sitting there and spamming, spinning the terminal. Gym, the, the gym, focus stop thing. Also it's 119 and no reports of shinies yet, which is, I mean, to be expected because you have to first pick up the eggs and then walk the eggs and then, oh actually I can reach one more focus stop. So if I go back and forth between the two gates, gym, focus stop, gym, focus stop. See how many eggs I can get before this flight takes off. just picked up my first event 2k so I'm gonna throw it in the incubator right away see if I can get that 1.3 before I take off there's a lot to catch on this end too yeah I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or if these drop rates are up but I got another one from the gym I've got 0.14 on the egg I picked up so I'm gonna head back the other way now Ladies and gentlemen, traveling to San Francisco flight 1936. I do have some good news. Our out of the time has improved, so we are going to board right now. It's, it's almost like I'm at the Pike. 
Um, they just announced that my flight's boarding. These are my last three 2Ks from before the event, so these are regular... Regular 2Ks. And one more before I rush back and get on a plane. Double Machop Hatch. I will never complain about that. 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. I'm not hatching these before I get on the plane because I'm gonna go get on the plane right now. But let me just give you my thoughts on the, uh, the boxes as I'm on my way back. The special box, the only reason you would ever buy this box is if you don't have enough coins to buy either of the other two boxes. So I would say ignore that unless you only have 480 coins. The great box is a good value. It has a better ratio of super incubators to star pieces. You're gonna get five supers for 10 star pieces um, with this box. And then with the ultra box, you get eight super incubators and 25 star pieces. So obviously this is the better deal in terms of savings on the items overall. The ultra box is absolutely the best deal, but 25 star pieces to eight incubators is not a good ratio. If you're hatching eggs constantly, you're gonna run out of incubators way faster than star pieces. I already have like 30 something star pieces still in my inventory from the last time they were included in boxes. But if you want all four of these items, definitely go for this. The great box is a better deal on incubators alone for about the same price as the other box. What's it called? Ultra box? For about the same price as the ultra box, you can get 10 incubators as opposed to eight. So I'm not telling you which box to buy. I'm just telling you if you want incubators, Better deal here. If you're gonna use all of these items, better deal here. Shiny mag be confirmed. basically a scavenger hunt to find the keys to this Airbnb. I'm finally inside, I have an egg hatching. It's, it was windy weather on the drive over here. That's how many candies? 10, 10 candies. Oh, and the 10 K is going, and it looks like it's raining now, even though it's totally clear outside, which is strange going from rainy LA to totally clear San Francisco. And the 5K, all the eggs, all the eggs are going off. Tangela. Oh man, San Francisco. I've missed you. And clearly this is like a part of San Francisco that I haven't really been to. At least since the Pokestop Halos became a thing. I was hoping it would stay windy for some weather boosted Lugia, but I don't see any. But my eggs are almost entirely cleared out. It's time to keep hatching these fresh 2Ks. Side of the table. Uh, I kind of just go plus my way through Chinatown, picking up eggs. Not very many, but stopped here for food. Two poke stops in range, so maybe by the time I'm done eating, I can pick up a full set of eggs, start incubating, and then just go wild. It's like a playground. I am full, nourished. Uh, my eggs, however, are not full. 
So I need to pick up two more. My my bag is full. Quick shiny checked out. I'm gonna there's one. I just need one more. Let it be this one. Oh my this one not this one. Alright, well I'm taking a slightly different path back before I head back to edit. Different path means new Pokestops, means I should have a lucky egg on. And a star piece. I'm uh I'm on the hunt for dessert now. I need something sweet after that. You might remember this park, this spot, this whole area from the last time. I, was that really the last time I was in San Francisco? I have to have been here since then. When I came up here to test out the new, this Pokestop nearby system, when this was only available in San Francisco, I came up here, I walked through this park, I tested it out all around this area. We got, oh, there's my last egg. Uh, yeah, Chinatown Banks are right here for any skaters watching and let me just get all these eggs incubated find some dessert hatch these see if I can pop a shiny it's not likely it doesn't seem like the rates are very high I haven't gotten spammed with tweets like I normally do when a new shiny drops so even if the rates are 1 in 20 it takes a lot longer to hatch eggs than it does to actually encounter Pokemon. So even if the rates are high, the encounter rate of finding these Pokemon from an egg is diluted. There's a lot of different Pokemon that can hatch from eggs right now, so might be tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking up some shiny luck right now. <laughs> First three people to catch shiny Bulbasaur on community day, get one of these Bulbasaurs, which reminds me that's actually why I'm here. I'm doing community day up here. Um, details are on Twitter. I'll link that below. Mystic7, JT Gilly, Elijah Watts, Dark Matter Wolf. We're all here, we're hanging out. Come get a Bulbasaur from me. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Why didn't I see the Togepi inside? That's the shiny luck I need. Or maybe, I guess, Bulbasaur. Coming Sunday. San Francisco's always been a special city for me. I used to come up here a lot when I was younger. I have family in the Bay Area. And so, you know, going into that shop, picking up the Pokemon. It just reminds me of those times when I would come out here to San Francisco and especially to Chinatown with my uncle with my cousins and we would pick up like Gundam models or Pokemon cards or whatever it was but yeah it's a little different now with all the tech money coming in still still one of my favorite cities in the world Uh, I'm I'm back at the Airbnb, but my game closed at some point between the bakery and here. Oh, okay, perfect. The eggs are hatching. Hold on, actually. Let me get my shiny charm out. My good luck, golden Magikarp. Eight two-kilometer eggs from the event. This could be literally any Pokemon. Any... I already got one of those. And at this point, the three baby shinies that we were expecting are confirmed. Togepi, Magby, and Why Not. They've all been hatched. They seem pretty rare. I'm not getting my hopes up. At the very least, new shiny on Sunday. That Bulbasaur. Also, do I have a star piece? I think it should still be on. That could have been shiny. Come on. I'm not even gonna look. Uh. Oh, okay, one more. Last, actual last one. This is, it's, there's so many. It's always, uh, cool. I don't know how to count, or I just haven't been counting. Here is probably the last one. Duh. Not shiny. So the difference on shiny Togepi is like really subtle. That big blue triangle in the middle, it's just red. The, the red and blue are switched on Togepi's shell. So it won't be super obvious, but you will obviously get the, the sparkles as the Pokemon hatches from an egg. Just keep an eye out. Red triangle. I gotta collect more eggs tomorrow, but right now, 
it's time to edit. See ya.